the biggest scientific breakthrough that's had the biggest impact on our lives was J.J. Thompson's discovery of the electron in 1887. This was the first time the atom had been divided into something much smaller than the hydrogen atom, which was thought to be the smallest component of matter at the time. And you only just have to look at the electronic devices that we use, computers, iPhones, iPads, other types of devices are available, of course, um, to see the impact that the electrons have in electronics, in microprocessors, and that sort of thing. Probably medicine that has had the greatest effect on how humans actually live. And from a lay point of view, it's probably antibiotics that have had the biggest impact. I mean, I just think those are absolutely amazing because I mean, for, for millennia, humans, if you get a mild infection, that's it. I'm like, Toby, sorry, you're dead. Uh, but now you get an infection, you take a pill, you're fine. That's absolutely incredible from my point of view. And I mean, everything in the future we were promised would be pill based from, you know, food, the works. Uh, and I think medicine is the one discipline that has actually come through with a very futuristic pill-based solution. It was the ability to uh, control fire and to keep fires going. What it did was it completely changed our diet, it completely changed our tool set, and it completely changed, uh, it altered our dependence on the sun in a sense because it allowed us to stay up late at night in the darkness and perhaps to protect ourselves from predators. I'm most excited about the possibilities that there might be in regenerative medicine uh, and by that I mean the area of medical science in which we're trying to heal people by getting their bodies to repair themselves uh, uh, and so there's some exciting techniques which involve regressing ordinary cells of our body back to a point in which they can then regrow and regenerate into almost any other tissue and build almost any organ. And of course then, when you have heart failure or liver failure or kidney failure, instead of getting a transplant from someone else, you might be able to grow your own new kidney and have it implanted, tran uh, transplanted, well, implanted into your own body without any of the problems of regeneration. And that would really transform medicine. Oh, what is the most important scientific breakthrough of all time? I'm going to go for the thing that's responsible for sending man to the moon, the thing that's in all of your phones, all your computers, and that is the transistor. It's a really small semiconductor device that allows you to amplify electronic signal, uh, signals or switch between them. So yeah, transistor.